now to Parliament now, and uh, Defence Minister Dominic Nitiwo has ruled out the possibility of a coup d'etat in Ghana following the growing trend of violent extremism and unconstitutional takeovers of democratically elected governments in West Africa. He's urging all Ghanaians who want to see a change of government to express their opinion through the ballot box as Ghana goes for a general election next year. Well, James Cleverly, the UK's uh, Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs, Commonwealth and Development Affairs, is beginning his tour of some West African countries, starting off here in Accra. Earlier today, uh, the Foreign Minister of the United Kingdom paid a visit to Burma Camp, where he witnessed a joint military exercise uh, targeted at showing him firsthand some of the measures being uh, undertaken by the Ghana military in conjunction with its international allies and partners, such as the United Kingdom targeted at checking the growth of violent extremism which has taken center stage in West Africa. We know that just last week the Republic of Niger, one of the West African countries, witnessed an unconstitutional change of government. Uh, we caught up with the Defense Minister Dominic Nitu after today's engagement uh, and bilaterals with uh, the UK's Foreign Secretary James Cleverly. Dominic Nitu tells us a number of measures being taken uh, by the Ghanaian government together with ECOWAS at checking the growing rate of violent extremism in the West Africa sub region. In, um, training exercises with the, with the UK, um, a lot of training exercises with them, they give us a lot of support in training our, our troops in combating terrorist activities. It's not just the UK, the United Kingdom, France, all of them, they do give us China, they do give us a lot of training. So this is the foreign minister for the UK. Is on a visit and we decided to give him a demonstration about if there is a uh, terrorist attack in a location like this which is which is a room what what our troops can do and I believe that he himself saw it the sort of professionalism that uh, and the coordination and the sort of discipline because for you you need to have a lot of discipline to be able to achieve that that's the essence of it just to show that look our troops are as good as we get all the training and with our, our various partners across board. And it, it's, it's, I'm impressed with what, what I saw and I believe that we'll have to continue to train, train day and night to, be, to ensure. Well, the minister is also ruling out the possibility of a military coup d'etat in Ghana. He explains why. ECOWAS, ECOWAS has given um, the Janta a one-week ultimatum to Hanover or face severe consequences, including the use of force. After the one week, we will seek the direction of the presidents exactly what they will do. But I can say that the member states are ready. Uh, if it means using force, the member states will be ready to do that. I, I, armed forces, I can, I can assure you that the professional level of the Ghana armed forces is, is par excellence and I'm not worried at all, not, not at all. I, 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 don't, I don't worry about any member of the armed forces taking up arms to say I'm going to remove a government. No, not at all. They would rather protect the will of the people. They would rather not allow anybody to cheat in an election. They would rather not allow anybody to manipulate in an election. But to take up arms to remove a government, the armed forces are, be, uh, they are they, no, it's, be, it's beyond that. Armed forces of Ghana is far beyond that. But one major worry is that.